أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحان الله وبحمده سبحان الله العظيم Glory be to Allah and praise be to him What a beautiful dua This dua is mentioned in a hadith by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in which he says Glory be to Allah the most great Sahih Muslim This hadith inspires constant remembrance of Allah the Almighty by proclaiming Him to be above any limitations, praising Him, glorifying Him, and acknowledging His oneness and greatness. These words of remembrance are better than the world and whatever is in it. The main reason is that they are related to the hereafter and are among the lasting righteous deeds whose reward never undergoes disconnection or pause while the whole world and everything in it will ultimately decease and come to an end we must not forget that the worldly enjoyment is little and its desires are temporary the delight of the hereafter never ends or changes abu huraira reported that the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said Two words are beloved to the most merciful. They are light on the tongue, but heavy on the scale. Glory and praise to Allah and glory to Allah the Almighty. It was narrated from Jabir, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, Whoever says Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah al-Azim, a palm tree will be planted for him. in paradise the first right due for muslims is the right of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his glorification praising allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a form of worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deserves to be glorified and praised as he alone is the creator of the whole universe so when we glorify and praise allah almighty We have to feel these great meanings with our hearts, represent them in our practice, and their impact should be demonstrated in our organs, our movements, and our silence. For the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fearing of his punishment, and hoping for his mercy, inshaAllah, on the day of judgment. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, exalted be he, to increase our love for him fear of him and our obedience to him for he is all hearing and the only one who is sought for help barakallahu feekum assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh